The research about slumped and upright postures tested three hypotheses, all noted on page two. First, the overall hypothesis was that upright postures would reduce stress response compared to slump postures. In particular, participants in an upright posture would have higher self-esteem, lower negative self-effective states, and higher positive effective states, and lower fear. Hypothesis two was that they further hypothesized that upright participants would have reduced cardiovascular responses to the stress task compared to participants in a slumped posture. Finally, hypothesis three was that upright postures would increase task persistence as evidenced by a total word count. Participants were explained on page three and included 74 healthy participants from the University of Auckland and the general public in Auckland, New Zealand. It was 55% female with a mean age of 26. Participants had to be able to read and write English and be over 18 years of age. Inclu exclusion criteria included regularly visiting a physiotherapist for musculoskeletal problems or a current diagnosis of psychopathology, cardiac conditions, or dermatological conditions. They also excluded anyone with training or expertise in physiotherapy. These exclusion criteria represent some potential concerns about gen generalizability might not represent populations of humans very effectively, uh, given that it's particularly young, has lots of exclusion criteria, and the reading and writing requirements. On page four, we learn about the four variables that the researchers measured. First, self-esteem, using the 20-item self state self-esteem scale. Second, affect, using the affect valuation index. Third, perceived sweat threat with a questionnaire containing hypothetical situations, and five with physical danger and four with social danger. Cardiovascular response to stress was measured with a number of physiological measures of heart rate, stroke volume, systolic and diastolic blood pressure, and pulse pressure. Task persistence was assessed with looking at total word count during a reading task. The manipulation of posture was discussed on page three. Slumped participants sat in a stool with a bowed head, rounded shoulders, and a stooped back. Upright sat in a stool with an erect back, straight shoulders, and back. They describe how they used physiotherapy tape and LED markers to establish the, and check the manipulation. In order to test the effects of the manipulation, they also had to create a situation where participants were stressed. They did that, as described on pages three and four, using the Trier Social st Stress Test, which is a well-validated way to introduce stress. Participants were told to imagine they were being interviewed for their dream job and had five minutes to tell the interview panel why they were the best candidates, had to five minutes to prepare a speech with no notes, recorded speech, the recorded speeches were then analyzed by experts. Hypothesis one was reported was supported by the results. Hypothesis two was supported by the results with one exception in cardiovascular response. The upright condition displayed more of an increase in pulse pressure than the slump condition. Hypothesis three was also supported by the results. So this contributes to our understanding by suggesting that posture may play a role in how we experience stress. Sitting upright might help us maintain a positive mood and persist with the task in the face of stress.